What's going on, y'all? Welcome back. It's Oz. Let's get productive. So today I want to talk about an incredible VST, one that really caught me by surprise. It's made by Cradle and dope producer, sound designer, Mr. Frank Dukes himself, and it's called The Prince. Now, I'm not going to lie. I'm late as hell right now. <laughs> I was on Instagram and I posted about using this VST and I was like, wow, this thing is really dope. I didn't realize how dope this thing was. And I got so many messages from so many of you guys saying that I'm super late, but I just had to talk about it because I really enjoy using this VST and I didn't even realize just how incredible it is in the sound design department. So we're gonna go over this thing. We're gonna talk about all of the things that makes it incredible, all of the things that makes it really dope. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get right into it. Frank Dukes, Cradle, The Prince. Let's see what this thing is all about. So as always, I have Logic queued up and this is The Prince. Now, right off the bat, when you see this VST and you see the UI, I know you guys are gonna love it just because of how clean it is. You could tell immediately that they cut no corners in the quality department. This thing is clean. The UI design in this thing is super user friendly, super easy to use. The neon kind of look to it with the glow between the blue hues and the green and the yellow, it really, really pops. But more than that, it's really, really clear. The resolution is sharp as hell. When you come down to the bottom of this VST and you take a look at the stainless steel on there, it looks so clean, it looks so real. The shadows, the gloss, this thing really, really looks good. So this is definitely one of those situations where the product actually looks better in person. Cause you know, it was cool in the ads, but I thought it looked a little like, man, like whatever. And then once I actually got it on the computer screen, it's super clean, super, super clean. So I gotta give, uh, so I got to give it up to Frank Dukes and I got to give it up to Cradle for making a really dope UI. Now, one of the things that I really love about this VST is the sound designs. Frank Dukes really went above and beyond to make sure every single preset in this thing is very unique, like unique, unique. I, I care more about the sound design and the presets than I even do a lot of times the VST itself. Like it can be a super simple VST with like two effects and just one knob in the middle. And I don't even care if the sounds are fire. And I gotta say there's some really cool things happening, some really cool things going on on the screen. Now you have two different layers here so you can layer up your sounds and really get into sound design and start creating your own things based off of what you have to work with here. You have layer A and you have layer B. And once you click them, it opens up layer A and layer B, it opens up all the sounds. So you can really go back and forth between the layers and, and change things up. Like you can change Android 18. And we can put for layer B, we can put basic. And then you have this blend knob here that's gonna help you blend between both layers. So that's really cool that you can go back and forth between both layers that'll help you really create your own thing on top of all of the incredible things that are already packaged in this instrument. And another really dope thing is right in the center here, you have your characteristics. So you can click on these different characteristics and it'll start to narrow down your selection to give you exactly what you're looking for via characteristics. So you could click on sustained, and digital, and it'll give you sounds that are in that kind of department, sustained and digital. So we have buzzy bass, and let's click on Cobra. And you can, again, you can mess with the blend knob here. So you have that going on with the layers, so that's really cool. And you can unlink or you can link your layers up, it's however you wanna deal with it. Up here at the top, this is where your presets are. Now you have seven different categories in the preset section. You have pads, brass, plucks, keys, organs, leads, and you have your user section. So you can save your own presets and create your own sounds. That's really dope. Over here down in the center, you have an LFO section, a source section, 
your filter section and your amp section. And it's all pretty self-explanatory. Your filter section, you have your high pass and your low pass filters, your ADSR right here. And you have an amount knob, you have a cutoff knob here and a resonance knob. Over here in the amp section, you have your amp and you have a velocity that ranges between just being completely off all the way to 100% velocity. You also have an ADSR for your amp and you can pan right here between right and left. So that's really cool. Over here in the source section, you have your glide knob, your pitch, so you can change the semitones and you can change the pitch of the sound. You can detune the sound so it sounds a little bit off. You can also go down here to these tabs and you can change between poly, legato, and mono, and that's really dope. And you have your LFO section over here on the left. So you can adjust the amp, the pan, the vibrato, the filter, the speed uh, of the LFO. You can sync it, you can fade the LFO, and down here in the tabs, you have these different waveforms that's gonna help you really manipulate the LFO and get your sound to sound exactly the way you want. Down here in this beautiful, super clean stainless steel section, you have your effects section. And you have four effects. You have noise, distortion, chorus, delay, and reverb. Pretty standard stuff but really effective when it's used the right way. And that's one of the things I really love about this VST is that it's not super over the top, it's just what you need to get what you want. In the noise section, you can click this plus button right here. It'll open up the categories of these different effects. So noises, you have six different noise types. And I'll turn up the dry and wet knob so you can hear the noises. Number two. Six, five, and three. Now, I don't know why I went one, four, six, five, three. I don't know why I didn't count that in order. That's super strange and weird, and it's okay for you guys to judge me for that. But we'll go over to the distortion section. Hit that plus tab again. All you gotta do is turn on distortion and you can play around with the distortion. You have four different distortion types. And you even have a gain knob here for your distortion. So not only can you kind of toggle between dry and wet as far as the source of your sound goes, but you can actually adjust the gain of the distortion itself. So it gives you a lot of options in regards to uh, really blending the effects into your sound. You have a chorus knob here, you have a delay section over here, and you have a reverb section. And if you just press that minus button, it'll take you out of the categories of the effects. And that's it for effects. Now, like I said, at the top here, you have your presets, and up here in the top right corner of your presets, you have the little save button so you can save your preset. You have a forward and backward arrow so you can move forward through the presets. And you'll notice a little heart right here next to each preset that pops up. So you can highlight that heart and make a sound your favorite. So when you open up the presets itself, you'll see over here on the right side that you have all of the highlighted hearts showcasing sounds that you really enjoy. You click that minus arrow, it'll close up the presets and you can go through any one of the categories of presets. You have your brass instruments here and just click on that plus and it'll open up the presets for the brass category. And one of the things that I really enjoy about this VST is in each layer, you can adjust your effects and your LFOs and your filters for each layer separately, or you can link them together. So he really made sure that you have as many possibilities as possible to create um, without any kind of hindrance or boundaries or things stopping you from taking things to the next level. And I love that. So that's basically it. That's the UI design. That's what's happening inside this VST. Now, what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go through some of the presets. In each one of these categories, I already have some presets kind of highlighted as favorites. So I'll just play a few of the favorites from each of these categories and we'll move like that. So this first sound is called Blue Winter. We're gonna start there. Burning light. As you can hear, the uniqueness 
of these sounds, the presence in these sounds, super clean and super dope and super creative. It's just like all of these sounds have their own characteristics that just make them a little bit different than your average pad. There's not a lot of fluff here. It's so many good sounds. Super dope. Right, and we can go over to plucks. Let's hear what some of these plucks sound like. Nice. Let's hear this next one here, Crystal Horizon. Dimensional Lake. Really dope, really dope. This one is called Glacier Mood. So much character in these sounds. So much character. This one is called Prayer Printer. Now we can go through some of the organs. I really enjoyed the organs that he has in the organs category. There's a lot of organs here, which is rare. Like, usually people don't know what to do with organs when it comes to VSTs, and they either end up sounding super generic or so spaced out that they don't even sound like an organ anymore. But, like, he really took organs and, and gave them character but maintained their organists. That's not a word, but their organ, he, he, he extra organified them. I don't, I'm sorry. But they sound like, they sound really cool, basically. They sound really cool. This one is called Pure Waterfall. Beautiful. Really nice. We can go over to Keys and hear some of these keys. This one is called Bomb. This one is called Bomb Staircase. So as you can hear, obviously I can't go through every single preset inside of this thing, but as you can hear, the presets that are loaded up in this thing are incredible. And every single category is just full of presets, full of lots of presets. There's no fluff. There's no category that only has like three presets in it. Every category just is full of presets. 
and just really dope stuff. And you can really combine them, layer them up, and do a lot of different interesting things with them. But if you didn't want to go hard on the sound design side of things and sit here and play with the filters and you know use different effects, you could just go to the presets. These things, the presets are made for you to be able to make hit records. I could hear that immediately. Like I, th there's a few times when I purchased VSTs, and as soon as I went through the presets. I was like, oh, this is it. I'm going to be using this VST for a long time. And this is one of those times that that's happened. So what we're going to do right now, without wasting any more time, we're going to get right into the cookup. Um, I put together a really simple beat. Now, as always, this beat isn't mixed down or anything. It's just something that I put together really quickly. Now, one of the really cool things about this VST is how it sparks inspiration immediately. Like I said, I put together a really simple beat, but I put this beat together quick like it took me it maybe didn't even it may not have even taken me 10 minutes to make this beat it took no time to make this beat and it's just because every single time i hit a sound i immediately wanted to use that sound and i found a way to implement it into the beat so you know i'm telling you guys when you get your hands on this you're gonna really be able to create some fire I used the prints on four different sounds on this beat, four different tracks. And there's not even that many tracks of sound. So there's like maybe nine tracks of sounds and I used it on four. I used a lot, a lot of the main elements of this beat was made with the prints. So let's check this thing out and see what it sounds like. And that was it. That was the beat that I made using the Prince VST by Frank Dukes and Cradle. Again, like I've been expressing this whole entire review, this is a really dope VST. Now, all VSTs aren't created equal, you know, and a lot of it is subjective. Some of my favorite VSTs people absolutely hate. You know, when, a lot of times when I do my top 10 or my top five, people are confused. But it's my top 10 and it's my top five. And that's the whole entire point. It's not about what the most popular VST is. It's about what you can do with what you love. So if you come across a VST that you really enjoy and, and it's inspiring you, it doesn't matter what anyone else thinks about it. So a lot of the times I'm bringing VSTs to this channel that are for the every producer, like the, the especially the, the hip hop producers out there though, that are like really all about really interesting sounds, not just live sounding sounds or realistic sounding sounds, just interesting textures and interesting characteristics in a sound that's gonna help you make your next hit record. I love bringing VSTs that just have a really organically dope feel to the sounds and the sound department. And this is one of those VSTs that absolutely does that. It absolutely inspires. The minute you start going through the presets, you're gonna feel it. So let me know what you guys think if you already have this VST, because like I said earlier, I'm super late on this one. But let me know what you guys think if this is something that you're gonna be checking out. Um, if there are any VSTs and plugins that you wanna see me review on this channel, leave it down in the comments section. Let me know, and I'll be sure to try to get to it as quickly as possible. As always, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you can stay notified anytime I drop a new video. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.